Most of manwas are about the poor weak MC getting strong and becoming OP, but what if the MC is already OP from the beginning? There are so many manwas which have characters who are OP starting at first chapter, but they are completely unknown because they have not gotten popular. I'll count down the top 10 manwas which MC is overpowered from the beginning, which are worth reading. There are countless amount of mangas where the MC is overpowered and the story only focuses on how his overpoweredness is used to save the world or win harem. To be honest, this is one of my favorite kinds of mangas. Straight to the point and no development. Just kidding, there's development. But I think there are more manwas which also have this kind of plot, but still manage to create unique experiences for the readers. Number 10. Stairs. Personally, I love this. It's quite good and really interesting. It has a good storyline and world building. If you want some new plot manuas, then you give this a shot. At the end of the world, there will be a wall stair. And at the end, there will be everything. Beyond the limits, be born the strongest person at the end of the world. This manga has like 75 chapters and the art style is beautiful. You can just tell. The story is pretty good. Number 9. Warble. Overall, the plot is engaging, the characters are badass, and the artwork is beautiful. Humans live in the overworld, and demons in the underworld. There's only one way for humans to travel between the worlds. Mankind's last hope, Warble. The art style is amazing and it's gorgeous, especially the solo MC scenes. The concept is so cool and the story is always, always moving on and progressing without many breaks or leisure scenes. You can give this a try. Number 8. Trinity Wonder What happens when the greatest martial artist of the Murim world meets a genius magician from a fantasy world? The story is an excellent blend of action, a few touches of intrigue, drama, and romance, and just enough comedy to grant a chuckle but not break immersion. It's about a super-powered martial artist and a magician ending up in the regular world because of portals. It spends a good one-third of its time just setting up characters, letting you get to know them, and then starts adding twists that are both unpredictable and enjoyable. Just read it, you'll definitely love it. Number 7. My Great Sword This manga is so good. If you're looking for some nice manuals, then this is for you. This is a story of a man who is cursed to live a life of solitude. Whether the ladies be 8 or 80 years old, his cursed ability would affect them. Even the slightest of skin contact would cause any woman to fall in an uncontrollable state of lust and desire. Thus, our hero, Sun Lang, journeys through this world in search of a way to lift his curse. He swears upon his life that before he dies, he will regain the ability to innocently help an old lady cross the road. Number 6. The Ultimate of All Ages It is one of the most original stories I have ever read, and really one of the best mangas out there. I would recommend this to anyone who likes overpowered or smart MCs. Also, it's really fun to read. First among the 10 martial emperors. Peerless martial emperor Gu Fiang met his demise in the Tiandang Mountains. He was reincarnated 15 years later as Li Yun Shao of the Tian Shui Nation and thus began a heaven defying battlefront with the countless talent of the current generation. Martial arts of the nine heavens and ten divine realms. From then on, the whole world was set ablaze. Number 5. The House Without Time This manga has like 30 plus chapters and the art style is just amazing and also the fight scene is worth the read. I like the story too, this manga is about an abused little girl with nothing to live for and it meets an old man with a nasty personality, it was fun to read and worth the time and a really good series overall. Number 4. Return to Revival Did the world return to 6 months ago? This is a chance, or a repetition of despair. A catastrophe, a zombie virus that hit the earth. Three years to surviving a devastating and desperate life through dozens of death crises on a ruined planet. Eventually, I couldn't stand it anymore and I was hit by a zombie horde. When I opened my eyes again, 
I was back in the past just six months before the zombie virus came into the world. In the next six months, this peaceful world will perish. I really like this story, although it's very stranded. And it's a pretty standard one as well, like the zombies and stuff. But the zombies do make it different and unique, and it adds a special spark to its action. Number 3. Everlasting God of Swords It was entertaining. He stood at the pinnacle of the world, surpassing all since birth in the art of the sword. The fate has left him crippled moments before reaching the apex. But the story continues and the legend will rise again. The MC is cool and composed. Him knowing everything kinda undermines the excitement. Everything is within his hands, so you don't feel like he can fail. He's OP from the get-go and is in never any kind of danger whatsoever. The plot is confusing as well because you don't know what he is doing or why he is doing it. Give it a try. Number 2. The Rebirth of an Eighth Circled Mage This manga is so good. Henry Morris was an eight circled wizard who was a legend, one of the founding fathers who helped his friend become the king of a unified empire. After the son took over the throne, Henry was executed with a false accusation of leading a rebellion against the empire. He then wakes up in the body of a young Henry Morris, the eldest of a barren family, who also happened to have the same name. Henry turns his life around again by relearning magic and also swordsmanship in order to become the first magic swordsman, all for the sake of revenge. Number 1. The Boxer This is one of the best ones I've ever read. You've got the raw talent or you're the underdog, but do you have the heart? Do you have what it takes? Let me turn into my Sylvester Stallone voice for this one because, you know, it's a boxer, so Rocky. <clears throat> We'll see what you're made of. The real fight starts now. This is my favorite sports flying manga ever. It starts on showing a talented, then a weak, courageous man. And then they never above the our MC. Our MC is the man. The monster who was like an extraordinary talent for boxing. The problem he didn't see the point in doing it. He looks dead inside. And some boxing coach recruits him and the fun begins. We, yo, we did it, Adrian! I'm kidding. This manga is really thrilling, to be honest. It's average, but damn, they can make some creepy-as-hell-looking characters. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then give this video a like and share it with your friends and family. And also, subscribe for more Top 10. Stay safe and take care. Zerocon signing out. See ya! Ciao!